Hello, this is Peter with PM Designs, and in this video, I'm going to show you a very quick way to kind of cheatingly model a superhero cape. Uh, it's not it's not about um, making it flap or anything like that. It's just modeling a very quick model. Okay, so I've got this rather nice superhero guy to come and help me. So I'm just going to get rid of that. So we're going to do very quickly add a plane and get it in position. Let's turn on my screencast keys because I'm too lazy to tell you every step that I'm doing. And I'm going to go into top view and shrink it on the x-axis to make it roughly fit his shoulders. And then I'm going to go to the side view by pressing 3 and rotate it up on the x-axis. And I want to make sure it's going to roughly fit his body. So here we can see it's too long. Oh, sorry, no, we want to... Excuse me, right. There we go, a bit too long. Something like that, that'll do. Okay, so you, you know, maybe you want a long cape which he can trip over when he's running. Um, but anyway, so I don't. I'm just going to bring it back up like that and uh, line it up. Oh dear, this is very annoying. It'd be better if I put it on global. There we go. Line it up with his shoulders. There. This is a really cheaty way, by the way, how to. You, maybe, maybe you can guess halfway through um, but anyway so I'm going to subdivide this I'm not going to subdivide it, actually I'm going to press control and R and get uh, something like that along the uh, vertical along the y-axis anyway and then I'm going to bring these parts forward to his shoulders by just extruding E and then Y and probably something like that just get them roughly lined up with his shoulders. You might have one which attaches directly to his back or whatever, but I'm going to do it like this. I'm also just going to bring this up slightly so we get some nice, yeah, a nice bit of shape like that. Maybe you've already guessed what I'm doing, but yeah, that's how I'm going to do it. I'm a cheater. Um, but that's, you know, probably what a lot of animation and modeling is. You've got to find ways to cheat. So, Right, we need more vertices on this before we continue, so we are going to subdivide it now. By about 100, something like that. And then all we're going to do is add a cloth modifier. I am missing a step on purpose just to show you the reason why, the reason for what I'm going to do later. Oh, sorry, it's because I'm right here. Let's bring that back up. So now, if we press play, we start to get a cloth simulation going, but oh no, it's fallen off. No problem. That's what I was missing on purpose. Now we're going to go into here, go, go up right up close and select these pieces, this edge right along here. We're going to make a new vertex group. I'm going to call it uh, pinned. And then when we go to our cloth settings, go right down to shape. Oh no, sorry, yeah, shape, pin group, pinned. Oh, hang on one second, I didn't assign these. There we go, assigned. So now these parts will stay, hopefully, they will not be affected by the cloth simulation. My computer is running quite a few things at the moment. Oh, I'm not in object mode. That would help, wouldn't it? Oh dear. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't do things properly. Right, again, we're going to miss some steps here on purpose. Oh, another thing I didn't mention, sorry, is the way to get this to fold over nicely on his shoulders is this character actually has a collision applied to him so the cloth is colliding with him all right so it will wrap around him quite nicely and interact like that and see you could you know this is basically how we're doing it from the you know by all means stop watching the video now because that you know what to do yeah but all I'm going to do is I'm going to add a subdivision to the cape maybe a little two yeah and that's it yeah and you know you can leave the and if we go back again let's make it shake it smooth we can let it flap down I would say let it bounce back off of him and depending on what pose you want you just pause the simulation at that time pause the animation I want it like that that looks pretty nice and then I'm just going to apply the cloth uh, the cloth simulation and then that so now, that is it. It's modeled. It's frozen. Like that. And that's, that's exactly what I wanted. You know, you could then go in and start to tweak pieces. 
um, you might want to add a solidify modifier just to give it a little bit of thickness something like that but yeah there you go the cheat and easy way to quickly model a cape for a superhero if you found that useful please drop a like if you think I'm a cheater please let me know thanks very much